Folks, this is the uh, this is the creek from last week that I showed you. I'm out looking for some peace of mind today. I'm on the Erie Canal Aqueduct in a small town in upstate New York. There's some of the old Erie Canal. This is the original Erie Canal, folks. And I'm going to jump around and show you a few spots. So I'd ask you to bear with me and um, we'll see what I can come up with. On another section of the old Erie Canal here, folks, this is a, this is a section that um, some characters of mine from the Wayfarers, uh, Fortress, a Wayfarer story, that's Fortress, my most recent book, they had an interesting encounter right at this spot. And again, this is the old Erie Canal right here. As I'm out just trying to air my head out, I've got things I'm trying to sort out, things I feel. And this is the old Erie, partially frozen. This section of the towpath right here is right alongside a very busy roadway. Most of it's very secluded. Okay, we're going to another spot right now. So bear with me, folks. Ooh, whose shadow is that? That's my shadow. Wow, that's a frightening shadow. Folks, this isn't a place that you want to drop down into for sure. This is yet another area near where I live. A nice place to go to. This is another body of water. This is an a old reservoir. I am truly out in the sticks right now, folks, but this is a nice place. Um, unfortunately, I don't have this place to myself right now. I don't know what he's doing over there. But, uh... The wind is getting very bitter out here. I was hoping that uh, my head would cool down. Uh, this is not what I hoped. I want to show you this. We need these places of solitude. We need these hideaways. We need these places to get peace of mind. And I'm going through a bit of melancholia today, too, thinking about people and places and things from my past and in, actually a not very distant past either but continuing to pray about some things uh, things i feel maybe things potentially prophetic i don't know again i would never jump out and say this is going to happen on this particular day i need to pray about it uh, watching everything that's happening right now concerning Jerusalem, concerning the rest of the world, the climate of the world, the climate of the culture and the society. And on one hand, I'm very, very concerned. On the other hand, I'm not afraid. No spirit of fear. No spirit of fear at all. I could, I could drop dead right now. That would be fine. <laughs> not that I want to. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I have no fear. I have no fear of death. I know where I'm going. Praise Jesus. And these are places I run off to. Now, there are places, again, more special than this to me, but they're about uh, 30 miles west of here. One of them is only maybe 15 miles west of here. But I don't have time today. All right, that's another nice shot right there. I'm going to sign off, folks. I've taken uh, four minutes of your time. I'll be back with more news at some point today. God bless you, and I will see you soon.